Hi everyone, Rhiannon here from Barbecue Spit Rotisseries and Flaming Coals. Um, today we are holding a barbecue masterclass at our Moorbank Sydney um, showroom. And I don't know if you can really see from the camera here, but we've got over um, 35 people here. So it's absolutely jam packed. Um, everyone's come along to hear pitmasters Cameron and Craig um, talk all about low and slow this morning and later on this afternoon um, we'll be switching gears and um, cooking up on the cypress spit. So I'm just getting a bit closer. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that do. Yeah. Um, the people travelling from Bathurst, the Super, uh, as far out as Sutherland. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of the guys have been to the store when I've mentioned Munro's quality memes, I'm sure. I think a few guys have been out there. So, it is worth it. <laughs> it's not your big box butcher, it's a family run butcher, service with a smile, you know, they know. You ask them the question and they know. They've just recently won Sausage King. Yeah, we put uh, three sausages into two different categories. So we put uh, honey chili and garlic sausages, our uh, chili pineapple sausages, and our lamb pumpkin <coughs> sausages. The chili pineapple took out first in the gourmet range. The chili honey garlic took out third in that same range. So we took out the first and the third of that. And the lamb pumpkin feta took out first in the lamb category. So. We're pretty happy with that result. Um, Craig was at Big Stock, the Butcher Wars. He took out fifth, uh, fifth, fifth place out of the 20 butchers that competed in Sydney. Uh, in Melbourne, he took out sixth. In Auckland, Auckland he took out seventh. So, you know, Butcher Wars, they get, um, you know, a half lamb, a half pig. They've got to break down a half hour and display it in a way that is shop ready and is, you know, fancy and better than the other 20 guys next time. So, so it's a good butcher store, what we're trying to tell you guys. Yeah. Our <laughs> uh, cards are on the table. Sorry for the guys that missed out on hats. Uh, we, we didn't cater for as many people as we thought. Uh, but what we're going to start off with now is lighting your pit, your barbecue, whatever you use. Um, we're going to start with the offset over here. So, this is your <laughs> traditional offset wood and charcoal only. Yeah, so I started with a base of charcoal. Then I then I run straight iron bar or apple apple wood. Um, smoke travels through the chamber with heat along the uh, tuning plates, the heating heating plates, straight up through convection pulls it out. What should be coming out of this now? When it starts to see a bit of white smoke come out, balloons of white smoke because that's the wood just burning and and, and uh, igniting. From there, eventually throughout throughout this cook, you'll see it go almost transparent what we call the blue line or the blue smoke. It should be the bluish tinge to it and that's what should be coming out. Similar to when you're driving on a road on a really hot day, you see <laughs> that mirage on the, that's what you should be seeing, just heat. There's still smoke traveling through, but it's just very clean smoke. So when we talk about a clean fire, this is what we're talking about. So we're gonna get this one started. Now what I usually start it with is our charcoal starter one. It'll start it super, super quick, yeah, so Using five brands of love wood charcoal today. You can see fairly big size. How much would I use? I would probably use you know, more, not, maybe not a quarter of a batch to start with, because generally I just need a good base of warm coals to put the wood on. Now on a cold day like this, I, before putting the wood on, I would probably put it on top of the fire once when it's closed, just to heat it up. <laughs> I'll, I'll let Cameron know, I'm sure he'll be wrapped to hear that Malcolm. <laughs> So 
It's absolutely amazing how well Low and Slow is taking off here in Sydney and how many ladies and gentlemen have joined us today uh, to be part of this free masterclass. It's great to see. And there's so many familiar faces um, of guys who were here for our last masterclass. Uh, they've come along again um, to, to get a bit more information and also probably to get the free feed as well. <laughs> First setting, just going to spark the charcoal to begin with. And this will just start spiking. A lot of guys here I know use these guns and probably vouch for that it's very, very clear. Oh, thanks, Malcolm. You can use it on a fireplace. Yeah, we what have you been cooking? With it down in Melbourne, uh, it and it started like that. Um, so winter, perfect. I had a guy contact me, he works up in the mines, up and down eyes up, he's using it to shrink plastic. Because it works better than a uh, big gun. So it's already starting to spark. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm going to jump in and give Cam and Craig a hand. Um, we'll check back in a bit later on.